Hello and welcome to episode 33 of series 5 of Become a Legend Story Mode. We're now a household name, probably the most famous Englishman in the world. The new season is about to begin, but will our heads be turned by some sexier options when it comes to our team for this season? Let's find out. Sorry, sorry, let me just shut the window. Sorry, just one second. Yep, those England fans have been out there for weeks now. God, I can't get any sleep. Well, I mean, the adrenaline alone has kept me up for a good few days. What an incredible World Cup final that was. Oh, I am still getting over it. I'm glad you all enjoyed it as much as I did. So many things to talk about in it. Incredible. I mean, let's not forget, we hit the post. We could have won the game in... Normal time, Eden Hazard blazed one wide, which was way, way more difficult to miss than it was to score. And thanks to all of you who smashed the like button on that video right at the beginning to grab your Tim Sherwood passion token and give me the luck I needed. So in this situation... No, 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 turn back. I've changed my mind. Gareth, Gareth, how the fuck do you even take penalties? Oh my god. Oh my god, I've forgotten how to take penalties. Oh my god. I didn't end up blazing it over the bar. Somehow, I don't know. Divine intervention. Tim Sherwood's passion. Who knows what guided that into the back of the net. I thought for the life of me, I had a Pizza Hut advert on the horizon there. Thanks a lot, boys. I feel much better now. Ooh, this time he's at the post. That was going to be the biggest miss in World Cup history, but somehow... It went in. It was just meant to be, wasn't it? And you've got to feel that Big Tim, the guardian angel of this channel, had a hand in it. But also, your likes. It must have been that. So, again, let's try it on this video. Who knows what's going to happen today? It's not going to be as exciting as that. I can already confirm. But there we are. Just, just bopping. Just bopping with Trent after the game. This is the level we're at now. This is the sort of player we are. We rub shoulders with right backs of that quality. Now, we do have a big question to ask. Where are we? Okay. We've got two games before the end of the transfer window. A lot of you aren't going to like this. You're not going to want to hear this. But I don't think we want to be a Southampton player this season. No, I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. We said we'd play a season having got them promoted. But I don't like... Ralph's style of football. It doesn't suit us. Playing with England was a breath of fresh air. We played in every position under the sun with the new James Milner. But wherever we were, it was just great to be involved in passing football along the floor, pass and move. We want it. I think we want that. And I think we deserve it. And I think we deserve a bigger move. I don't think the player who scored the decisive penalty in a World Cup final to win it for England should be playing at a newly promoted side, even if it is Southampton. So I think it probably is going to be worth putting in some transfer requests. I think we just need to have a quick browse through, see if there's any teams with glaring holes, uh, play the football we want to play, and ideally play a right midfield, but not necessarily we could retrain as a right winger. We can play at central midfield, as we proved in a World Cup final. Did we play in the central midfield? We did, we did. So we can do it all, that's fine, we can adapt. I'm going to have to have a look around. Now, the obvious choice, as a lot of you will know, would be Arsenal for me. I'm an Arsenal fan. Let's go and take a look at how things are lining up at the moment. Okay. Interestingly, they've signed Insigne and Raul Jimenez. What a signing that is. That is a brilliant signing. I'd love to see that in real life. And Arteta playing with, well, essentially wing-backs there, isn't it? They've signed Henriks. It doesn't really look like we'd fit into this side. What sort of style are they playing? Possession, short pass, centre, flexible. That's that's all we want to see. That's fine. That works for us. We'd have to retrain. You'd fancy we'd be able to uh, take Willian's place maybe eventually with good performances. Chelsea, not for me. Everton, we've done that in Become a Legend. Gabby Goal went there. We enjoyed it. Leeds, we love. Just been promoted with us though. That would be a bit of a sideways step. Now Leicester City, a team I really do like. Let's take a look. Brendan Rodgers oh, playing with a right midfield. It's a very pragmatic formation, that. Short pass, wide build up. I like that at least. Um, don't like five at the back so much. Luke Shaw, that's a good signing. They've got on the bench Harvey Barnes. Like Harvey Barnes. They've not made 
too many good signings. Jamie Vardy's left, so Iheanacho, their highest rated striker. Fortunately, I don't know where they finished last season. I didn't take down any of the results from last season in the Premier League. That was a mistake. It would be interesting to know. Liverpool, mm, we were there with Bielsa in the last Master League series. I tend not to double dip if I can help it between at least recent series. Manchester City, we've done that. United, worth a look. Right winger, I like the formation. I do like the formation. I like the playing style. Martial up top, Bruno out on the left. I feel like we could give uh, Hildeberto Pereira a run for his money at right wing, potentially. Sanchez, haven't they? Hmm. Maybe. Spurs? No. Hmm, okay. Not sure, really, if there's a better option. And taking that into account, I think I'm going to try Arsenal just because, you know, this is me. How often do I get to play as me and become a legend? If I'm going to be developing my career, then this would always be the club that I would want to end up at. The playing style's right, the positions aren't, although right back in this formation would be essentially right midfield. So we could manage that. We'll just see if Mikel's up for it, shall we? We might as well. We should hear back with enough time to put in another bid, perhaps. If we have to stay at Southampton for half a season, that's not the end of the world. Let's keep moving, shall we? Oh, well, that's happened very quickly. That does not bode well, normally. Oh, no, okay, it does bode well. We can move to Arsenal. Oh, <laughs> that's tempting. Mikel there looking every inch the marionette doll that he normally does. Oh, one mil contract, a couple of years on it there. It's very tempting. Agent's happy with it. They're a step above your current club. Yes, they are. Best club in the world. I guess we just wait and see if we get any other bids in and then... Maybe we'll just put it to the vote. We haven't done that in a while. The patrons can have their say. Should we stay or should we go? So, national team squad announcement. You'd hope we have managed to keep our place. We have been selected. That's good. So, and a couple of new players. Famewu and Slater. They're going to be shite, aren't they? Never make good signings and become a legend. Oh, no. That's England still. And we are straight into the side for the first game of this season, back in right midfield for Liverpool at St Mary's. What a start to the season this should be. There will be a lot of speculation going on in the press now about lifelong Arsenal fan Johnny Hunter's communications, let's put it that way, with Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. It's very, very tempting. It's very flattering and also tempting. But for now, we're a Southampton player. Let's go and see how we line up today. Oh, look, Liverpool have signed 21 Savage. We did the very same. Love him. What a player. That's a very, very strong Liverpool 11 there. Very strong indeed. Oh, they've signed Madison as well. <sighs> wow. That's impressive. So none of our new players in today then. Is that Kilman from Wolves that we've signed? We had him for a while. It might be a different one. Where are the new players then? Slater, 66 rated DMF. Good, and a 69 rated centre back. What's the fucking point in that, Ralph? Uh, back with uh, Adams and Dings up top. Good stuff, Redman there. Ward Prowse, ready to find us. But it's this, it's this game plan, the counter-attacking, long-passing style of football that really began to grate on me last season. Thankfully, we just had the quality throughout the first 11 and beyond just to steamroll aside despite the fact we we're playing the worst sort of football that's not going to work in the premier league i don't think in fact i know it won't and we're going to get picked apart here i can only imagine by a very strong liverpool side 90 rated van dyke <sighs> robertson 85 rated the lowest rated of that back four that is a back five that is brutal we're gonna struggle here i think we'd much rather be playing belgium again but you know what, with all this talk of transfers and moving clubs, let's not detract from the fact that we are, well, we've just won the World Cup and we're about to start our first game in the Premier League. It's every boy's dream. And we've knuckled down, we've done it the hard way. We've done it via Thailand, the Segunda Division. Just, it's unimaginable, the progress that we've made. And we've got to be very proud of that. And Southampton, a good side. 
and a side that always wants to beat Liverpool. Maybe we should go to Liverpool. That is the natural next step, isn't it, for a Southampton player? Home fans will be very, very hopeful on this first day of a season that will keep them in the Premier League after a shock relegation just two seasons ago. We're back now where we should be. And this is going to be a great barometer of how this side will handle the top flight because the football we were playing in the championship, it was horrid. It was really, really bad. And if we don't evolve, then we're going to revolve around the toilet bowl back to the championship. There we are. That's my assessment. Let's see how we get on. Armstrong holds it off. We're away from 21 Savage. Redmond. There's a ball on here. Oh, 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 oh. Gomez, that's a foul, mate. Curl it! <laughs> Come on. Very, very close to opening our account there. Going to have to do well to beat Allison from that sort of effort. Yes, loads of space. Oh, that's cheeky. We can find things as well. Ah, unlucky. Oh. Mistake there, big mistake. Danny Ings throwing goal here. Come on, Danny, we're not going to get many of them. But you have to say in this first 20 minutes, the home side had the better chances. That's really poor from Wijnaldum. We were making a good run there as well, but I guess Danny Ings the right option, but that was the wrong option. The left-footed shot dragged wide. Come on. If we're going to get chances, we really need to be working, Alisson, at a very minimum. We're not going to get many. Potential on the break here. We've got to stay with Robertson. We've got to get back with him. It's a full-time job. <laughs> Staying with Robertson. Salah now into Mane. Don't let him shoot. Good block. Good punch away as well. And only as far as Wijnaldum. Salah on the turn. Good turn. Good hit. That's the first chance of the game there for Liverpool. We're doing all right. It's taken them 40 minutes to have a proper shot. And... Uh, a pretty good chance in the end on his weaker foot. Pulls it wide. We're the better team so far. Did not expect that. He's got three blue shirts to aim for in the box. Checks back. Curls it in. It's going to be us against Mane. Yes, good defending. That's right. Don't forget we can do that too. Do we have chance for a break? No, we don't. Oh, well, okay. All right. Positive. Positive first 45 there. As you can see, same number of shots. A lot less possession, but that's fine. The bargain basement clop that is Ralph Hasenhutl will come in pretty happy after this first 45. We probably had the best chance testing Allison with a curling effort. Another one of them, you never know. Firmino scoops it into the path of Trent. Our best mate in towards Mane. Oh, no way. What? <laughs> How did you not get that away? And what has happened to Firmino's hair? Had like an aborted perm. Good distribution there. You've got to love that. And Che Adams will hold it up here, looking for an option. Gineppo, that's good interplay. Gineppo, yes. Yes! <laughs> Took a karate kick there from Van Dyke to prevent us getting on the end of that one. We'll lurk edge of the box here. Go on then. Oh, let's it run. Ah, uh, Wijnaldum read that like a badly written book. Oh, it's well dealt with there. We'll get to that. Ah, oh, Van Dyke simply says no. Oh, opportunity here though. Oh, and Ings has found us and we're away from Robertson. Only Adams to look for in the box. Good low ball in. And Gomez is there to deal with it. <sighs> Big chance there. Huge. I think we made the right choice. In the end, I think it was just good defending as well, but... Damn, we've got to take those chances. We've got a little pinch of luck. We weren't able to finish it off. And that is our race run here. Bertrand will come on for us. I thought we were doing all right in that. We were almost involved. Well, we were involved in our two best chances. Can we hang on for the uh, point here? Can we go one better? Oh, shit. No, no, we can't. That did not take long, did it? Just a couple of minutes after we went off. And it's been Firmino who's looked like the danger man today. The most likely to score out of the front three. It's Bednarak again there. Just misjudging it badly. Milinkovic Savage. It's a simple ball. Oh, it's not. It's Ward-Prowse getting in Bednarak's way. That just went wrong for everyone there, didn't it? 
Oh, we've done so well. So well. But wait, hold the phones. Oh my god, we've actually scored. Shea Adams draws things level. And that is poor. Really poor clearance there. Ings with a lovely flick. You've got that telepathic relationship between these two strikers. They've played alongside each other for all of last season pretty much. Starting two strikers. That's lovely. Eyes in the back of his head. One touch. And a really good finish. Well, didn't see that coming. The point could still be on here. Bertrand. Ings. It's nice. There's a foul in there. Big foul in the build-up. Ooh. In towards Gineppo. Kilman Ward Prowse. Come on. Come on. No. Pen? Pen. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, Savage. It's going to be gutted there. Sergei. It's it's soft, you've got to say it's soft, but you can't be making challenges like that in the box. Anywhere else on the pitch, that is a free kick. And Ward Prowse slams it home. Come on! Yes! What an incredible start to the season. I did not see that coming. I did not see it coming. After the Liverpool goal, I thought this one was done and dusted. gineppo has gone down easily there, but that is some penalty. If only we'd had him at the World Cup. That would have been a guaranteed... Ah, oh, well, shit. Maybe we should stay. Maybe we're going to win the league. Maybe we're the best team in the country. Can we make it three here? Really rub salt in the wound on this first day. Nope. Savage Salah. No, don't do this. Dagba. Oh, no. <laughs> that is heartache here at St Mary's. No. Oh, that's harsh. That is harsh. In the grand scheme of things, a draw probably fair here, but ah! Oh, snatched from the jaws of victory there with an own goal. That is going to smart, but generally, oh look, Serie A ball, of course. That's an interesting choice. I don't even know how to change the balls. I'll be honest. I'll be honest, I don't care until that little cutscene, and then I do sort of half care, but I've forgotten about that, I'm sure. Uh, how do we do? A six to start the season off. Not amazing. Didn't play that well. I had a couple of chances. It was a difficult first 60 minutes, really, of the game. It's only later on that things opened up and we were able to take our chances. But yeah, that's harsh. Harsh for Branthwaite. We get a point on the board. It's one point closer to staying in the league this season. That's got to be the goal, surely. Norwich with a great start. They top the table. Do need to be keeping an eye on how Arsenal are doing. There we go. I wonder if we'll get any more bids in for us before transfer deadline day. I doubt it. Very much doubt it. Everton, Europe's best Europe best player. Wow. Fair enough, mate. And unfortunately, Arsenal did lose 2-0 to Leicester in the uh, opening game of this season. Not ideal, but I do just feel... If we're not going to be at Southampton, I'd rather not play in this style of football anymore than... I think it might just be Arsenal, you know? I think it might just be... I'm 80% sure I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments. Whether I'll put this to a vote, I don't know. I might just do it. Anyway, training. I did need to make sure. Yeah, they're all assigned. It's fine. We certainly deserve all of the focus points now. Shall we train something? A skill? I think we should. I'm going to go for pinpoint crossing. I think that could be an asset, particularly if we end up at right wing for Arsenal. If we do move there, that's where we're going to retrain. I think I'll chuck a couple. Uh, we'll chuck three into that, I think. 250 days. That's quite a while, isn't it? Maybe we should just go all five. I mean, all six. Yeah, 100 days. That's a little bit more palatable. Right, let's keep going. Doesn't look like there's any more interest in us unless something comes in at the last minute, but Arteta's offer of a one mil contract. That is certainly floating my boat right now. Right, anyway, let's concentrate on the game at hand. Oh, they've signed Mitroglu. That's an interesting signing. They have been stripped bare. Lost so many players. No Harrison. I don't know if Rafinha would have been there at all. No Bamford. Rodrigo playing out on the right. Interesting. It's not a good side. Certainly nowhere near our standard. Uh, oh, downward arrow. Come on. We weren't great, were we? But not that bad. So here we are, the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice we'll be playing at the John Smith's Arena. That's Huddersfield's ground, not too far away from Leeds. They've kindly lent it out because Marcelo Bielsa, in all his kooky glory, has decided that the entire pitch at Ellen Road needs to be replaced. 
to allow them to run harder, faster and longer, probably, or something like that. Anyway, here we are. Let's do this. I'll deal with... Oh, that's poor. Gave it straight back to Shackleton. Now Tyler Roberts is through on goal. Got to get across to him. Good shoulder. Very, very strong shoulder there. Had to be. Bit of a shaky start here. Oh, good touch away from Alioski, but Shackleton will get there. Definitely sounds like an explorer. Have a bit of that, Roberts. Oh, it's a good ball in, though. No. What? Offside, yeah. Okay. Poor half so far here. Nothing to write home about 20 minutes in. High ball. Adams gets to it, and that's a lovely touch. Oh, and that's a perfect ball into Danny Ings. Have a go, mate. <gasps> Somehow. Oh, he makes his way through. Couldn't get the shot off. Love that pass, though. Outside of the boot. Little ping through the centre. Sexy football. Yes, nice. We've had battles with Alioski in the past. Oh, he's come through. Stairs studs up. <laughs> that is typical of the Leeds man. Come out of that unscathed. Which is good because we do have a habit of being scathed. With those sort of tackles are oh, lovely. Simple turn away from Roberts there. Will we have a final chance in this one? Not with pointless balls up to Danny Ings like that. But somehow Adams gets to it. And now Ings with the effort. Whoa! Oh my god. That's essentially how we got promoted, wasn't it? Ridiculous finishes like that. Out of nowhere. And Danny Ings showing Premier League quality. As he did all of last season. Now he can do it. Back where he should be. We did very well to keep hold of him in the championship. And that is some finish. Very little backlift there. Generated so much power. Well, in what has been a boring and low quality first half, we found one moment of real top draw finishing. Rodrigo now. Good ball to Shackleton. Edge of the box. Lines up the shot. In fact, the level. That's just poor defending there. Not picking up our man. I guess that's sort of our man. We made an attempt to get there half-hearted it's been a bit of a half-hearted game in general today one all now the score we didn't think Leeds were going to find a way back into this and unfortunately now if we're not on red full attacking when we're on red you know full bore full out attacking this formation and this style of play almost works I don't know what it is but when they're fully attacking they actually don't bang it straight away up to the center forwards and it almost works now as soon as you get into gray or below or white just goes like that. Long ball. They'll header it, win it back. Occasionally you get onto one. It's not high percentage or attractive to watch football. That's the problem for me. That's why I think a move to uh, play under Mikel Arteta does seem more and more appealing. Valerie into wings. Given him the overlapping option here. We we'll use Valerie instead. That's a good ball. Square off against Alioski. Oh, we've done him. Can we get a good ball into the box? Here we can. Ings with the glancing header. That would have been beautiful. I love it. Stand a man up. You look him in the eyes. You say, have you got this? You got me for pace here? Oh, I've done him there. It's a great ball in. It would have been quite incredible flicked header. Unlucky. Oh, and that's it for us, is it? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Another early sub. We were on a red arrow, which always kills your stamina. It did kill ours today. Oh, and we've done it. Unbelievable. Well, we haven't done it. 73 minutes gone. And we find a second here. Danny Ings completes his brace. Wins the initial header. And then it's a good ball in from Adams. They set each other up. They're generous like that. Ings to Adams in the last game. Favour returned here. Can we hang on this time? And that's it, done and dusted. We take home our first three points of the season, thanks to Danny Ings' incredible finishing once again. Not a good game. It's Leeds United side, with Metroglou up top. What a downgrade from Paddy B, that is. Uh, yeah, Leeds were poor. We weren't much better. But, uh, yeah, in the end it was, as has so often been the case, the incredible finishing of Danny Ings that separates us from our opponent... It's good. Four points from a possible six from the first two games. Got to be pleased with that. Our performances, not great. 5.5 today. The downward arrow just makes everything so difficult. The pass completion, though, there's no real excuse for that. But that sees us fifth. Good. Nice. Arsenal still yet to win. Minus five goal difference. <laughs> okay. 
that's almost concerning now, I would say. Oh dear. Okay, last day of the transfer window. Let's see if we get any offers. I don't know if we're going to. Nope, it's going to be Arsenal. And it's going to be an Arsenal side that have just lost 4-1 to Bournemouth at the Emirates, having lost to Leicester City in the first game. Hmm, okay, that's food for thought anyway. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, a slightly underwhelming start to the season, but we've got some international friendlies. I don't think we're going to be playing them. But anyway, we'll leave it on that quote. The team means everything to me. I'm really happy to be a part of this team. I want to play in as many games as I can and do my best to help us win. That sounds like a statement to the press just before leaving to me. That's my feeling anyway. Well, we'll find out next time. I'll see you in a bit.